Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Who is Your Soulmate? I love these readings, I think they're absolutely amazing. So we're going to see who is your soulmate. I'm also going to have a timing, zodiac sign, etc, etc. So we have group number one, group number two, number three and number four. So please take 10 seconds to breathe in and breathe out and choose your group. Okay, so starting off with group number one with the Angel Aura Quartz. Hello group number one, let's get started. So we have this gorgeous Angel Aura Quartz. I think this crystal is absolutely stunning. It's just what you had to show you and let you see what it looks like. This is so pretty. Okay, let's go. So we have a massive bunch of cards. So it's gonna be a really big reading today. So just to let you guys know, we have Parenting and Children, Carnelian, self-confidence, direction, heart chakra, connect, third eye and crown chakra. We then have hematite, mental strength, root chakra, natural beauty and authenticity, air, Aquarius, Virgo and earth. We then have a new start is coming. Wow, that's amazing, I love that. Time to collaborate, school, and compassion wow this is really stunning okay so i'm also going to bring in the tarot as well uh let's start off with these cards first and then we're going to bring in the tarot okay so first we have self-confidence this person is very very confident within themselves they're very very eager to get started on things so if they want something they're going to go towards it they're going to know what they want so if they want you they're going to want you you know like when you're with this person you want to know that they want you okay for a lot of this group, this group is kind of reminding me more of a masculine energy. So if you are obviously a male looking at this, wanting a female or anything else, but you know, if you're wanting um, a female, I'm seeing, obviously I will look into a feminine energy, but this is more, I'm getting more of like a masculine energy from this. Obviously it doesn't matter on gender, but I am seeing more of masculine energy, but you can be a female with masculine energy, okay? So, but actually no, saying that, I'm actually getting a female energy coming through now. Sorry guys, took a while to catch up. That energy, it took a while to catch up. So yeah, I'm seeing feminine and masculine energy here, which is good. Okay, so this person's gonna want children with you, um, or they just love children. They're all, all they're gonna have children, depending on your age. So obviously this is a general energy, so just take it as it resonates. This is somebody who uses their heart a lot in their life. So they're not somebody who's cut off from their heart. They're somebody who's very loving. They love family. They love their friends. They love their life. If they don't love their life, normally they change it. You know, there's somebody who is very eager to change things if they're not right. They're always going in the direction of their heart. You know, I'm really connecting with this heart here. And it's just really kind of, I can always see it like beating. It's really kind of it's really like making me look at it you know um and it's also very blue so there's somebody this person could also talk a lot in terms of like the way they love so they're gonna tell you all the things that they love um you're gonna know about it okay um so there's somebody who's gone through quite a lot of crap they've gone through a lot there's somebody who is really working on their mental strength and they're really kind of looking into okay what really suits me and they've gone through a lot of crap like they have gone through so much that they are extremely strong, very mature, very grounded. They know what they want. And as I say, they always go for what they want. They're very confident. Sometimes they can actually, for some of you guys, this person can be quite lacking in confidence, but they may act very confident, okay? But for some of you guys, they are actually very confident. Um, so in terms of star signs, we have air, Aquarius, Virgo, and Earth. So we have air and we have Earth, which is really, really good. So this can be um, air, we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then with Earth, we have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So they could either be any of those. There's somebody who um, really likes, uh, they love like knowledge. They love kind of getting into the nitty gritty of things. There's somebody who really kind of looks into all the bits and bobs in terms of any sort of situation. So they're gonna be very, very organized. I feel like if they got Aquarius and Virgo, they're gonna be somebody who can be quite scatty maybe. I actually know them, they'd be more scatty if they were a Gemini, I feel like. Obviously no, no shade, no shade. Um, <clears throat> but I feel like for, if they were like Aquarius Virgo, I feel like it'd be very grounded, but also quite shy. 
um, maybe quite critical because they kind of know what they want to do in life and possibly they may kind of think, oh, why aren't they doing it? You know, they may be a little bit judgmental, but I feel like they possibly, they, they really kind of work on their mind, okay? They're very, very intellectual. They possibly love going to school or they're in school right now, um, depending on obviously the age and stuff. They could be at university, could be at general, actually be at school. Um, in terms of compassion, they are very, very um, compassionate towards both sides of themselves. Now that I'm saying about female and masculine energy, we actually have that here, where it says, give yourself, be yourself as God made you naturally attractive and lovable inside and out. And I feel like whenever I get this card, I always see it as the masculine and the feminine energy. So I feel like this person is very good at integrating these two energies. Um, they can be a bit more masculine. If it's, if it's a guy, I feel like it can be more masculine than feminine. And if it's a female, they can be more feminine than masculine. But they can integrate both of the two, okay? So sometimes they can come across quite masculine. Sometimes they can come across quite feminine. You know, it, it varies with this person. They're not all kind of all in one. They're very kind of like this. They have lots of aspects to their personality, which make them very interesting, very sexy energy. So you could meet this person at work. I always see this as a work card because I always see collaboration as like community and um, uh, like colleagues. And also the number one, which is a really good start, which is basically like, yeah, a good start. It's like starting off, it's a new start. A new start is coming. So you can meet this person at work. It could also be you meet this person through somebody else. For some reason I'm seeing connections, the word connections, collaborations, community um colleagues so i'm feeling like somebody knows somebody else and they'll be like hey like i know someone really attractive or i met like a friend the other day i think you'll be really good with them you know something like that okay that's kind of what i'm seeing this person's very grounded they're very good at managing their alcohol for some reason they're telling me um i'm just gonna see what any any more channeled messages want to come through possibly could have a dog um they love to surf for some of you guys that's not for all of you <laughs> some of you guys are really good at maths so i, I got the song um you uh where it goes you got a problem yo i'll solve it <laughs> you know ice ice baby i've got that song in my head that's so funny so they might like to rap as well they may like eminem um yeah i love that that's really funky they may like 80s music they may like um the print fresh prince of bel-air if you guys know um that tv show they may like that they may like that kind of 80s they may like 80s music. Uh, some of these really funky. I, I'm getting for some of you guys, they could look a little bit like Will Smith. <laughs> so they're going to have um, like dark skin. But for some of you, they're going to have um, pale skin with brown hair, blue eyes. Um, if they have darker skin, they're going to have black hair, brown eyes, possibly like greyish eyes. Um, that's like a masculine energy, that's sort, sort of like a man I'm seeing. For feminine energy, I'm seeing possible, very pale skin, blonde hair. Um, I'm getting like an albino kind of energy, albino kind of look. They could also be brown hair, um, blue eyes. Yeah, I'm getting like pale blues and pale pinks in my head. So I'm getting somebody who looks very quite pale or could just be kind of like my colour where they're just kind of white and there's just not really a kind of colour there where it's not essentially like a really dark skin or really light skin. It's kind of like in the middle. Um, possibly could have a pink undertone to their skin. Yeah, definitely. They're telling me pink under undertone, blue eyes. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Right, let's have a look in terms of uh, tarot and then we'll have a look at timing. Oh, wow, King of Cups. Oh, that God, that's so sexy. I love that. King of Cups is one of my favourite cards. Like, I just think he's such a sexy energy. Very mature, very, like, pronounced. Kind of like, I know my shit. I've been for a lot. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I've been here before. It's not my first rodeo. For some of you, this person could be from Texas as well. I'm getting America. Some of you guys can meet this person in America. But for you guys, if you're not actually American or you're not from America, I'm seeing that you guys could actually still meet this person they're from america okay page of cups in reverse no that's upright my whole deck was in reverse so there we go okay let's get a couple more oh my god you're getting all the good cards i love this reading this is great sorry i'm getting really excited <laughs> i'm seeing like clear quartz for you guys so this person's going to open your mind it's going to help you cleanse a lot of your karmic energy which i don't like saying karmic energy but that came through really really quickly and strongly so this is somebody who's very earthy, could be quite stubborn, um, but they're very, very concentrated on like the 
sustainability of life so they're very kind of like okay as i say you got a problem yo i'll solve it that's <laughs> that's the energy it's in reverse because they may be concentrating on work right now but when you meet this person they'll be um willing to love and uh, cherish you so we also have um connect this is really calling me to show that they're really going to connect with you on a strong level in terms of the spiritual level Whew, get really out of breath um wow this person's going to be amazing like very angelic um very hippie for some of you guys not for all of you some of you could be like a rocker like a motorcyclist like they love like their motorbikes but for some of you they could be even like a rocker chick for uh, in terms of a girl i'm seeing like a rocker chick who's very kind of like um hippa hip hippa hip hippa what hipster like hippie hippie or hipster i'm getting very random things something like a girl with like um a leather jacket and she's kind of like on a motorbike so i'm seeing that either for a male or my or female you know take it as it resonates guys it can be fem female or male but sometimes I'm sp i specify because that's just the, the image that i see but it can be for a male as well so we have the king of cups ace of cups eight of swords strength the four three of pentacles and the page of cups holy crap amazing new energy mature perfect new person this isn't an old person guys so if you know if you know this person it may be but i'm not seeing somebody who possibly you're going to reconcile with maybe possibility maybe because some of you may be a bit reluctant to be with this person but i'm seeing somebody it could be somebody you know already but i'm not seeing somebody who messed you around okay i'm not seeing it as somebody who messed you around i'm seeing it as somebody who's so open for a relationship it's unreal like they're so ready the gates are open they're they're, they're willing to go for it new start new emotions could be at work couldn't be a leo um but basically they've gone through a lot in terms of their emotions and so have you um and basically they need to stop kind of overthinking and thinking they're not going to get in a relationship same with you guys if you think you're not going to get a relationship dude that is not true <laughs> that is not true i've got to tell you it's not true so i also have some letters so i could bring out some letters it doesn't have to resonate guys so please don't take this um take this with a grain of salt yeah obviously take all these readings with a grain of salt so let's see what uh what letters we got i'm getting a p that's coming through so if we get a p i'd be quite surprised okay no we haven't got a p okay so you guys take this as it resonates um we got s r you know what? i'm gonna bring this quite i'm gonna bring this more forward to you let me get my little tray and i'm gonna bring this to you more forward so we've got g we've got z i v s K T R S and K. So they're telling me this could be a band name that they like. Obviously not how it's spelled, I mean maybe, but I feel like for some of you guys it could be um a band that they like. Um and I'm gonna add up all these numbers that are next to all the letters. So we have we have one, four, one, two, 10 5 5 1 1 1 so we have 31 so you could have so your number could be 3 or 1 or it could be 4 and that's really really good that's stability that's creativity amazing i love this that's so stunning okay so that's your letters for you guys and then i'm also going to have a look into timing and see what's going on in that front so where's my timings um let's have a look in terms of tarot and then we're gonna have a look in terms of my timing card so give me a timing for group number one please oh my god the two of cups oh i'm so excited yay so we've got the two of swords and the two of cups so two two weeks even two days for some of you guys two weeks two days two months let's have a look in terms of timing again one two three we have three months two weeks one week yeah exactly guys so you could actually meet this person in from about one week onwards so one week to three months okay you can meet this person that's amazing you could literally meet this person by christmas time obviously if you don't celebrate christmas that's completely fine but around christmas time so around december by the time of december even before that you know that's absolutely amazing i love that 
So some of you guys could have relationships by December. Wow. Oh my God, I'm so excited for you guys. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. This has resonated. Please give it a big old thumbs up. If any of you guys meet this person, I would love to know. Please comment down below. Even if I've uploaded this video and you've seen it like 10 months later, please comment down below. I'd love to know. This is timeless. So hopefully you guys... Um, like this video if it resonates please let me know um i'm also doing my private readings that all the information is down below and on the screen here and also if you'd like to uh, subscribe please feel free and i'll speak to you very soon also if it doesn't resonate and just let it fly or you can choose another group thank you so much group one and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video we have the gorgeous uh aura, aura quartz this is titanium covered i love this quartz Angel Aura Quartz and any kind of Aura Quartz is my absolute favourite. I think this is Angel Aura Quartz. It's just so stunning. It's my Barbie crystal. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, let's get started and see who your future partner is. We have Financial Flow. We have a lot of cards here, guys. So this is going to be a long reading, just to let you know, which is quite nice. I haven't done a long reading for you guys in quite a while. So we have Financial Flow, Commitment, Garnet. Balancing masculine and feminine energies, which is so funny. This literally the last group had this as well, not the exact same card, but it was about balancing their feminine and um, masculine energies. We have Venus, Libra, Taurus, Sagittarius, and we also have Cancerian. I love that we have Libra and Venus right next to each other. That's so great. Ah, oh, so excited. Okay, fiery climax approaches. Let's move these guys over here. Uh, we have act as if just bring these up it's going to bring these up here guys so i can fit these in okay and then we also have oracle cards teaching crystals insight and rebirth okay so the person that's coming towards you or possibly someone who you know already they could be um a libra taurus cancerian or sagittarius they could also have their Venus could be very prominent. They could also have their Venus in Libra. And therefore, if they do, um, at the moment, Venus is going into Libra. So it's going to be very prominent for you guys in terms of love. So this is going to be a massive new rebirth thing for you guys. Really, really amazing. I love that. Obviously, this is timeless. So if you're looking at this about five, ten months, a year, two years later, um, it is timeless as well, guys. So just letting you know, but it still will be prominent. This person may have their Venus in Libra, Venus in Taurus, Cancerian or Sag, or they could just have this as their, like, their star sign, okay? So, they're somebody who's very good at working with their finances. They're possibly very good at um, manifesting money. Um, also, guys, I'm also going to look into the tarot as well. So, as I say, give me a long reading, okay? So, get your popcorn, have a little sit down, do some cleaning while you're watching this video, you know? <laughs> you know? Okay. So, we have commitment, heart and sacral chakra. So, this person is really, really committed to you, okay? They're going to be somebody who's worked on their commitment issues, worked on commitment, and they're really kind of going for it. If you guys are watching this and you have an issue with commitment or you just feel very worried about it, Garnet is amazing. It's a very sexy crystal. I love it. I use it a lot when I'm feeling a little bit unsure about love and things like that really really good this is my grape crystal I call it it's actually a really deep red it's really really pretty so Garnet is really really amazing for that um, I also have that along with my um my aura quartz here and my rose quartz crystal at the moment so those are what I currently have at the moment just to let you guys know I feel like those are the ones I need right now so anyway it's just thought I'd let you know if you wanted to see so this person's very good at balancing their masculine and feminine energies they're very very creative so basically sometimes they have a bit of struggle um connecting with their creative side and their financial side at the same time okay so it basically said allow your it says allow your feminine side to creatively inspire you and your masculine side to give you confidence so basically they could be a little bit lacking in confidence they have this 50 50 thing so i feel like it could also be a gemini in terms of their identity they may have a little bit of issue kind of connecting with who they actually are but they're very sure on you they like they really really like you okay they're going to really like you when you meet them or they may like you now if you know who this person is and it's resonating um also guys if it doesn't resonate now it may resonate in the future just to let you guys know so this person acts as if they act in the moment they're very kind of um they're very leo as well they may not have leo very like obviously in their chart it may be like a leo rising 
maybe Leo Uranus or something like that. It's, it's very hidden in their chart, but their energy is quite Leo. It's very like um, expressive. They're very, very expressive. And I'm getting like a pain in my, let's just say in between my legs right now. So, and it feels like very, um, and th this is my sacral chakra. This is all about connecting with your feminine energy and your and love and creativity. That's what they're, they're telling me. So I feel like they're really good at doing that. They are very raw, like their energy is so raw, very artistic. They could also be a teacher. They could also love to work with crystals and oracle cards. They could just be interested in that. Um, and I feel like they're very good at working with children and therefore I think that's why their Libra is very prominent Like if they do have Libra in their chart It's gonna be very good because in terms of teaching and love They're very good at kind of transmuting their love towards somebody else in terms of a masculine like in terms of a man I feel like they're very masculine, but they're also extremely caring So they're very good at kind of transmuting their uh, masculine energy to a very caring Like yummy kind of cozy energy if they're a female they obviously have a very feminine energy very not obviously but they do have a very feminine energy they could be a talker cancerians love to talk they could be a very uh, big talker they're somebody who's very kind of um what does this mean it means they're invested in their money so they're very kind of quite money orientated but i don't see this being a very big thing it's like they're just very good at managing their money or they kind of think about money a little bit too much um so i feel like with the fiery climax approaches yeah they're very kind of like um their money the way they think about money is very mundane so they think about it a bit too much but it will help you because it will help you to help it will help you with your finances as well. They'll be very like, have you done your accounts? Have you been to your accountant? Have you um, written down everything you've earned this month? You know, have you fueled up your car? You know, they're very kind of practical. I love that. So we have full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. This is literally someone coming towards you. I think it specifies a, a man coming towards you. Obviously, if you're not looking for a man, it doesn't matter, guys. Take it as it resonates. Um, this can be a woman as well. But actually in the book, it says a man is coming for you as well. Like a man is coming towards you. So you're going to meet this person after they have gone for a rebirth. Or you have gone for a rebirth. Or both. And both of you are going to get a massive, massive insight. And can you see, guys? Oh my god, look at that. One, one, two, two. Oh, that's so sexy. So it could be a twin flame. I'm also getting a very raw, sexy kind of like... I'm getting this, like scratching at someone's skin. Like a, it feels very sexy though. Like, it feels like a sexual thing, but it also feels like a very raw, kind of, like, um, masculine, like, animal kind of feeling. So, it feels like two people are going to be really connected to each other. And I feel like both of you are going to have a very spiritual connection. These two minds are coming together, are these two, like, kind of creatures. They kind of have their heads together, and it's just like, look how gorgeous that is. I'm getting, like, a tantric energy from this as well, and Kundalini. Um, okay, so... Let's have a look at the tarot and see what else we can get from this person. Yeah, they could dress quite like um, bold and big. Yeah, we've got the King of Cups. That's what came in for group number one as well. That's their first card too, which is amazing, you guys. We have the Five of Cups, <clears throat> Knight of Cups. Gorgeous. I love this. I love all this love energy. It's making me really happy. That there. Oh, and that's the one on the floor. Right, so you're not going to see this person coming. In the chariot card if this is a new person you're not going to see this person coming they're going to be like boom here i am hey how you doing they have somebody who's very approachable so you're going to want to approach them or they're going to want to approach you okay let's get a couple more so they may seem like they don't want a commitment but they will all right they're just going to be a bit nervous um they may focus on the past too much the five of cups energy seems to kind of like follow them around a lot um but it doesn't mean that they're not ready for a relationship okay we've got the <clears throat> queen of wands in reverse so it's somebody who's a little bit unsure of themselves they may be a kind of a little bit lacking in confidence in some part for some of you guys but i just burp so they feel like they're probably going to come towards you in terms of communication you can meet this person online i'm seeing at a school <clears throat> if you're a teacher or at a school if you do something at school uh even if you're a professor they could be another professor um they could be somebody who's very into nature so you could meet this person on like a nature walk um what else what else are you just show me show me something else guys my mind has just gone completely blank that's so strange this energy is so weird today you may meet this person in housing like housing estate um traveling you can meet this person traveling 
yeah i think this person's really really sexy so you've got the king of cups ten of cups knight of cups friggin chariot judgment amazing right amazing very very balanced with their money worth the wait are telling me um and basically they could kind of have this energy that they basically i felt like i'm getting like a scorpio energy which i can totally relate to this kind of scorpio is that a good thing is like when a good thing comes in you don't believe it and i think that's what that is yeah it's like i have so much balance i have the perfect relationship oh but it's too good to be true don't go into the energy guys that is dangerous territory <laughs> don't do it it's going to be amazing look how stunning this is oh my god i'm so happy for you guys so if this person it may take a little while for them to come forward um in terms of you might be friendships you may have a friendship first for some of you it may be like you um they're a bit unsure of coming towards you but they will do it okay they will do it guys um so in terms of timing let's have a look at timing and see what's coming forward of that when's this person going to come forward for group number two okay page of swords this is really random guys my big toes really itchy <laughs> i'm getting really hot don't know why this person could also wear sandals or flip-flops they're showing me could be like a jack johnson kind of person if you don't know who jack johnson is look him up he's very hip hippie and he plays the acoustic guitar and he's great that's for some of you some of you guys this person could work in a cafe like costa or starbucks or just a, sorry that's loud or just a general cafe so I'm getting 1 and 10. Let's have a look and see in the, uh, my timings. Right. Give me a number. 3. 1, 2, 3. Right, I've got 5 years. Let's get another one. Okay. Oh. I feel like you're going to feel this person coming. Like you're going to know this person when they're like on their way. You're going to have like a psychic download. Right, so you guys are a bit longer. I feel like for you guys, it could be three. So it could be from about three to nine months for you guys. A bit longer. <clears throat> this person could be five years older than you. Um, or five years younger, depending on your age, obviously. Three years. Um, basically, I think for their longest partnership they had was three years. Or your longest partnership was three years. Um, three years could just be prominent, guys. Like, you could, like have a prominent um time frame in terms of three years so you could after three years of watching this video you could actually be potentially married to them which is so stunning i love that way you even have a baby you even have a baby depending on your age obviously and eight to nine months definitely <clears throat> i see you having a baby with this person so it could be about three three to nine months sorry guys it's a bit longer for you guys but it doesn't resonate and you feel they're coming in sooner than possibly pick another group or just maybe use your intuition to see what you kind of pick up on i'm also getting flip a coin don't know why they're telling me that flip a coin what does that mean so give you an idea of the time frame so possibly say one or two and then flip a coin and say heads and then number two you know you know something like that i don't know why they're telling me that but yeah so there you go guys thank you so much for watching oh also i'm gonna pour you a letter letters let me get my little tray or big tray actually it looks quite big on camera okay Right, we have N, Y, we have N, A, D, J, <laughs> I'm joking guys, I'm just, I'm just being silly now. So we have uh, N, A, Y, D, J, M, Y, C, and I'm going to basically um, add up all these numbers. So if you look at all these numbers here, letters, those are all your letters for this person, doesn't have to resonate, but it just can be like a, a symbol or sign. So let's add up all these numbers for your number. This person, three plus four plus three plus one plus one plus four plus two plus eight. 26. So it could be number two and number six, or it could be the number eight. It could be prominent for you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If this resonated, give it a big old thumbs up. Comment down below if it did resonate. If it didn't, then just choose another group or let it fly. Um, subscribe to my channel. I also do private readings. All my private readings are down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Also this reading is timeless just to let you guys know if I didn't say that already. Okay, I'll speak to you very soon. Bye guys. Hello group number three. We have the gorgeous Opalite. I love this crystal. It's so, so pretty. Let's get started with your reading. Do your soulmate is. This is going to be quite a long reading guys. So just letting you know. So grab a cup of tea, grab some popcorn, do some cleaning, you know, do your thing. We have moving forward fearlessly, romantic partner. Ancestors, root chakra, progress, not perfection. 
in terms of their chart we have fire mars sun aries moon leo wow <laughs> so a lot of fire then <laughs> wow okay work through your fears and the moon is scorpio and we also have turn knowledge into wisdom leadership career change and light bringer so for this group you guys are very this person is very very uh earthy for some reason they're telling me earthy and fiery um could even be an air sign to be fair i'm feeling more earth and fire for this because we have leo we have aries we have mars we have fire we have the sun and then we have the moon so basically <clears throat> their moon could be very prominent in terms of their wishes and dreams i'm not sure why they tell me that so you could have their moon in cancer or scorpio but then they're, they're they could be very fiery so it could be like aries sun it could be a pretty much a leo aries or sagittarius and um, they could have a watery moon sign though with what i'm seeing and their mars is very prominent they have very masculine energy if they're a male they're gonna be very very masculine which i really like very sexy and there's somebody who's a leader they love to lead people there's a certain person that is if they're in a group they're gonna lead the whole group you know um and we have progress not perfection don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. So they're going to be somebody who possibly focuses too much on, on themselves in terms of they're very critical of themselves. They're very, very sensitive. They're going to be somebody who's a light bringer. So they could be a healer. They could be somebody who's just generally very spiritual, very sensitive, very aware. They could even see ghosts and, and spirits and things like that. And um, they could be somebody who is going to bring the light to the earth so they're going to be somebody who's, who awakens people and um, there's some going to be somebody who possibly goes to people's houses and looks and see what kind of spirits they need to um get rid of in their house or i need to bring down the light this a little bit it's too bright um okay so they're very very knowledgeable there's somebody who i would say they're a leader there's somebody who's very very deep could be artistic i'm feeling very kind of like um they could be businessy though for some of you guys are very businessy very good with their money or just very good with business um so they could carry like a suitcase around or suitcase well maybe if they travel but they could also uh, bring around like a, a briefcase with um with like a, they could wear like a suit but for some of you guys they're very artistic very watery um i'm seeing for some of you guys they're gonna be in their 30s if you're in your 20s they're gonna be in their 30s they're gonna be a bit older than you um, they're going to be somebody possibly with white hair, so they could have dyed it white. Some of you could even be white, depending on your age, obviously. Um, they could be somebody who's quite hairy. I'm not saying they have got a lot of body hair, I mean like they've got quite thick hair. Uh, possibly have a beard. Um, for some of you guys, brown hair I'm seeing. For a male, brown hair, blue eyes. Um, quite like thin eyes, like I'm getting almond eyes, is that... Is that right like my kind of eyes like almond is almond the right word i don't know uh and they possibly have quite a, a square forehead um very very sexy could even wear glasses uh for some of you guys it could look like clark kent which is very sexy clark kent is superman by the way if you don't know who that is um yeah his person likes marvel as well which <laughs> I like this person already. I love Marvel. Um, they could like Disney. I'm getting they could like Tinkerbell. So they could find like blondes quite attractive. Or they could just generally just like that character of Tinkerbell. Because she's quite mischievous. And she likes to kind of break the rules. And I think this person's like that. Um, yeah, they love Disney. They love kind of like childlike things. Which is really good. They're also very mature about it though. So I feel like they, they're very good at balancing their childlike with their adult life. Which is really good. Um, their crown chakra is probably the most prominent chakra for them they have crown heart and throat very very prominent and uh, we also have the root chakra here so yes very business like they're very kind of good at meeting so if they go to like a, a board meeting or meeting they're very kind of good at kind of setting everyone straight <laughs> they're like come on guys this is what we need to do we need to do this 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 and this um they're very much a leader um in terms of career they're really really good at kind of changing their career so if they're not happy in their career they will change it and they possibly could be going through a career change right now, okay? So, let's have a look in the tarot and see what we have. Uh, 
We have the Seven of Swords, <clears throat> Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, gorgeous. They're going to be ending the cycle by the time you meet this person. Uh, it could be a little bit mischievous. Yeah, as I said, like, like Tinkerbell, very mischievous, but in a cute way. Yeah, they're going to be a romantic partner for sure. I love that we have the romantic partner here with the Ace of Wands, so very sexy. Um, Ace of Wands I'm seeing is quite a phallic symbol. Um, and moving forward fearlessly, yeah, I'm seeing that to do with career change. They're going to be moving forward away from their um, old career, going into a new career. That's how you could possibly meet this person. Okay, so they're telling me to kind of pull cards for how you're going to meet this person. So I didn't do that for the other group. I kind of just channeled any messages. So but I'm going to do that for the next. So that's basically what we need to know about this person. Okay, how are they going to meet this person? Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. So you can meet this person at work, at a meeting, um, even networking. Show me something else. I think like a rainbow. Why am I getting a rainbow? So you can meet this person after a transformation that you've gone through and you're basically awoken to something new. Um, could be someone from a far off land. They could be somebody who comes in from a different language. They could have a different language, but they obviously speak the same language as you. Can meet this person on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, <sighs> any social media I'm seeing, even YouTube. Um, Travelling, like they're going to travel to you, or you could meet this person travelling. Um, yeah, it's kind of what I'm seeing. I'm getting a parrot as well, so they may have a pet parrot, pet snake, pet lizard, kind of a strange pet, maybe a pet skunk, because I don't know if you can have those, but <laughs> that's kind of what I'm seeing. So yeah, definitely going to end a cycle. Um, there's somebody who's very eager to start things with you, so they will definitely do that. Um, the end, the possibility is endless. It's going to be an amazing relationship. You're never, going to, you're not going to have a relationship like this. This is going to be an absolutely new relationship. Uh, I don't think you, you know this person. I don't think you do. Maybe for some of you guys, very few, but for a lot of you, this very new person. They're very mature. They love travelling. Getting very big Sagittarius vibes here. Um, they're somebody who could be a little bit closed off in terms of the, how they want to like be with you. So they might be a little bit stuck in terms of how much they want to share with you. They may kind of be confused on like, oh, I don't really want to kind of share that information, but actually over time, they're going to warm up to it, yeah? So you can see how basically they're a bit stuck. They kind of don't want to move forward, but then it basically moves on to the page of wands, and it's like, actually, do you know what? I'm going to drop all these wands. I'm going to go towards the king of cups, because, you know, it's a much better energy to be in. Um, we also have the queen of wands with the um, page of wands, so they're going to go from a very kind of like... They're going to use their feminine energy towards you and they're going to kind of bring that in. Even if they're a ma masculine man, they're going to use their feminine energy and kind of give that to you. Very caring, very loving. I love that so much. So, for you guys, I want to pull another crystal card. I don't know why, but I'm going to because that's what they're telling me to do. So, I'm going to pull another crystal card for you guys. Oh my god, that's why. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much. I also hurt my elbow. That hurt. So, we have Root Lady Quartz, Home Root Chakra underneath amazing you're going to make a home with this person um they're going to be very very loving this this card i love this card this is my my favorite card in the deck because it's all about love it just puts it straight it just shows you love is coming towards you a new relationship and it's going to be amazing home home body and yeah they're going to be releasing a declutter in their heart and i feel like for this person it's going to help you to release a lot of old stuff because you're going to have more of a secure um connection with this person because they're going to help you to think oh actually love isn't all kind of wasted you know like just because i've been through crap doesn't mean i'm going to con continuously go through crap and i'm getting the song um a love that will last by uh wait let me google it guys let me just google it one sec a, a love that will last i think it's collie it's collie something a love that will last if you listen to this lyrics, oh, Renee Olstead. If you listen to the lyrics of this, guys, like, listen to it. It's about, like, a long-lasting relationship. You see that? I love that will last. Okay, that's your song for today. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look in terms of timing. Am I holding this upside down? Yes. All right, tell me in terms of timing. I'm getting very, very soon for you guys. So soon, even, like, the next three weeks. 
yeah, because you guys have really balanced out. So, okay, I got the hangman. Didn't we just have the hangman? We literally just did have the hangman, didn't we? Okay, give me a timing. Okay, we've got six of wands. And we got the eight of pentacles. Okay, so let's have a look. In terms of timing here, my little timing envelope that's seen better days. <laughs> okay, right. Okay, so it's showing me a little bit longer, but I'm feeling quite soon. So maybe for some of you it's going to be sooner than this. So we've got six, seven and ten months. Okay, and that's what we got here. We had this number six as well. And what, do we have another one as well? We have, what, what was the other one we had? Was it eight, wasn't it? So six to eight months could even be six to eight weeks for some of you guys. For ten months, I'm seeing that's probably when you're going to be in a relationship with them. But, but six to eight months is when you're going to meet this person, okay? I'm seeing around Christmas time you could actually meet this person and they could like go with you into the new year, you know? Um, yeah, I'm seeing like a Christmas party or like a work party. Okay, so let's get a letter for you guys. Let's get my tray out. Okay. Okay, so this is your letters for you guys. We have H, Y, L, C, O. P, A, V, another C, I, and G. So if you guys can find a, like a word in there or anything like that, then that's going to be prominent for you guys. Also, I'm going to add up all these numbers and that's going to be like a lucky number for you guys or a number you're going to see repeating as a sign. So we have H is number 4, plus 4, plus 1, plus 3, plus 1, plus 3, plus 1 plus four, plus three, plus one, plus two. Uh, seven, 20, 27. So that's also nine. Could be two. Number two and number seven could be very prominent for you. And also number nine um, could be very prominent for you also. There's also quite a lot of threes, ones and twos here and fours. So just letting you guys know if any of those resonate. That, oh my God, did you see that move? That wasn't, was that me? Did I just, did I move that? I don't think I did. Okay. Well, there you go, guys. That is your uh, your letters. So, <clears throat> thank you so much for watching, guys. If this resonated, please get a big old thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know. Uh, subscribe if you meet this person. Please let me know. That'd be great. I want to know. Um, also, guys, if uh, this resonates, then you can subscribe if you'd like to. Also, do private readings. All the information is down below. And, yeah. Thank you so much. I'll speak to you very soon. Hi guys. Hello group number four. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Let's see what you have got for your soulmate. This is a uh, Pophilite, if I've said it right. I always say it wrong. <laughs> um, this is really, really good for channeling, very good for clearing out old energy. I love this crystal. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's so, so pretty. Love it. Okay. So let's get started with a reading. This is a very long reading just to let you guys know you have a lot of cards. So you have detoxification. Moonstone, Moon Cycles, Crown Chakra. Stay strong in your faith. This card loves to come out. Every single reading I do, every single pick a card, at least one group gets this card. Right, Scorpio. We have Scorpio, Pisces, Capricorn, Water, Gemini. We then have the end of a tough cycle approaches. Take time out. Let spirit be your guide. Open to infinite possibilities. Sorry, guys, these are really wonky. Um, love is all around. Watch your words. Writing and prosperity. So, I will look at the tarot after I have looked at these cards. Okay, guys? So, this person, definitely a water sign. <laughs> definitely a water sign, earth or air. So, we have Pisces, Scorpio, Pisces, and water. So, it could be a Pisces, Cancerian, or Scorpio. Could be either a Capricorn or a Gemini also. So this person is going to be reborn. When you're with them, they're going to be reborn. For some reason, I'm looking at this little egg that these two people were kind of surrounding, or like, I don't know if these are like creatures or, 
you know, they're just kind of surrounded by a little egg. So you two are possibly going to make a baby, make a baby together. Possibly could be a twin flame. Um, I'm seeing this like a number 11. I know it's not number 11, but I'm seeing it as that. And also number three. So number three can be very prominent for you guys. It doesn't have to be a twin flame. But that's kind of what I'm seeing. Um, okay, so there's a lot of even numbers. So for some reason, even numbers are going to be quite prominent for you. You guys could both be even numbers when you meet each other, like your age. Um, <clears throat> so... As I said, definitely going through a end of a tough cycle. Um, for you guys, this person needs to take time out. Like, they work so hard. And basically, they need to kind of take time out and let spirit be their guide. And they need to, like, let spirit be their guide a lot of the time. They need to let things flow. This person, very, very open about their words. They could be a swearer. They could swear quite a lot, but it's quite good because they're very passionate. Um, they could be a writer, therefore that's why they swear a lot, because they're very passionate about their words. Um, they're very prosperous, so when you meet this person, you're going to be very prosperous with this person. And so you're going to have a very sexual, intimate relationship. So if you are over the age, if you're over the right age, the legal age, to do stuff intimately, then yes, definitely. Um, they're going to be somebody, yeah, who needs detoxification. They're cur currently, or currently just going through the end of a tough cycle, you know. They're just kind of emptying out all the crap. Um, and they may just kind of have a little bit of lack in faith. In terms of things coming forward and therefore it's basically saying to stay strong in your faith a positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset so they may kind of get a bit more angry kind of channel their anger um into like projects when they kind of just get a bit stuck but i feel like they need to be conscious of how much they um, work and how much they take time out i feel like their work-life balance is a little bit off for the moment that may change but i feel like they are okay in terms of like they need to take more time out and with the number nine, that's basically telling me they're, near, they're literally near to the end of the cycle, okay? There's somebody who's very in, open, <coughs> excuse me, to infinite possibilities. They could be somebody who's very open to try new things. They're going to be somebody who's going to guide you to new things. You're going to both be open to new things. Um, so, I feel like you need to kind of channel some messages. So let's see what messages want to come through. I'm going to grab my selenite and I'm going to see what messages come through. So... Right, so a lot of you guys is going to be a Pisces for sure. Uh, I'm getting an itchy foot again. I keep getting an itchy big toe. It's really strange. Um, so they could wear flip flops because that's what they told me in the other group. Because my foot got my sweat. My hands just oh my god, my hands suddenly got really sweaty. So this person's going to get quite nervous when they meet you. Um, for a lot of you, they have a small head. If you're a Pisces or they're a Pisces, you know they have a small head. Okay, guys, a lot of Pisces have small heads. It's just kind of a thing. So this person has quite a small head for some of you guys, but for some of you guys, they're quite buff. Like if they're a, if they're a guy, big broad shoulders, love to work out, very very fit. Depending obviously depending on the age, they're about thirty. Um, I'm seeing for a lot of the older people who are watching this, like probably forties, fifties and older, there's somebody who is quite thin um they love gardening as well and show me um so this is gonna be somebody who loves to travel they've traveled quite a few places they've traveled to like hot countries hot countries are their favorite to travel to they could have traveled to like cold countries as well but um they don't really like that okay i'm gonna ask the guys to stop itching my foot like stop making my foot really hot because i'm really distracted um yeah they love water you possibly could meet this person by the water they love water. Um, very nervous. God, my hands are really sweaty. Um, and I feel like this person, if they're a woman, possibly ginger hair. Uh, man, brown hair. Guy, brown hair, blue eyes. Girl, ginger hair, brown eyes. With ginger hair, light eyes, whatever that means, probably blue eyes. Especially if they're a water sign, they're definitely going to have blue eyes, even for a guy as well um what else they love like sandy beaches they love like the desert they love like australia or america where they have like the the desert deserted places where they're all kind of sand and sand and sea and sky and sun yeah i'm seeing that quite prominently okay for some of you guys this person could have gone on a backpacking trip and that's how you meet them or they could just have gone on a backpacking trip and they love to travel right let's get some more cards and see what else we have this person is very psychic, especially if they're a water sign. I'm really seeing that with this water card here. It's got like a bubble right next to the like near third eye of the crown chakra. I'm really seeing that. So they could be a psychic or they could just be very sensitive, very aware. For some of you guys, this person may not be aware that they're aware, but they are very aware. 
how many times can we say aware in this reading? They could be a writer, they could write blogs, stories, poems. Yep, definitely a water sign here. Ten of Cups. So again, somebody's going to come in really fast and um, they're very, going to be very committed to you as they could be an air sign as well. And they're going to end the cycle when they come near you, right? They're going to, they're going to end the cycle when things start unraveling. Like when they meet you, an old cycle will end, a new cycle will begin, especially between you two. Yeah, you're both going to be really, really sensitive. Both of you are very sensitive in terms of your emotions. Possibly can meet this person in a group setting, work, party, that sort of thing. Even a group like a, like a yoga group, like um, crystal group, you know, people who discuss like spiritual things or just even a group that you enjoy going to. <laughs> I'm seeing for some of you guys, I'm getting like an AA meeting, like a Alcohol Anonymous. <laughs> no, you probably, I mean, for some of you guys, if you are a struggling alcoholic or something like that, um, you may even meet this person there. Obviously, that's only going to apply for some of you, but that's what they were showing me. I heard a group setting, and then that's the first. That's one of the first things I thought of. Yeah. So some of you guys. Oh my god. Uh, all of you guys, amazing. Yeah. Some of you guys, you can meet this person at like a yoga retreat or like a yoga place where you do yoga. Um, yeah. Both. We've got an air sign here. Water. 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 Fire. Yeah. Amazing. Very very prominent with water. They're going to come towards you straight away. Okay. So let's get a timings card. Also, they're going to have infinite possibilities. Like if they've got a Sag rising or they've got Sag very prominent in their chart, they're going to really love traveling with you, okay? I feel like they do have Sag in their chart. Um, we have the Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. So yeah, Leo there as well. And I think they're more of like a um, water though. Death and Scorpio. Okay, so timings could be um, in about eight to nine weeks. I'm not really feeling months for you guys. Could be, but I'm going to clarify with this as well. Okay. Get in there. Get in there. Autumn popped out for me as well, guys. So I'm going to tell you that probably meet this person in autumn. Right, we have four years, one to two months, five months. So what did I say? Nine months. So yeah, it could meet this person from about one to nine months. <laughs> could even meet this person as soon as one to two months, yeah? Um, four years, they could be four years older than you. It's like four years, four years, what is that? They could have had a job for four years and therefore then they stop doing that work or they possibly get promoted and then they find you in that department. Um, four years and you could get married to this person from meeting them uh, and, have, and have kids, okay? That's what I'm seeing for that. Let's get a letter for you guys and see what letter's coming out. Obviously, it doesn't have to resonate, but yeah. That death card as well. I'm really seeing that you guys are going to uh, have a really good end of a cycle. Okay. Let's get a couple more out. Uh, I don't know why I made that noise. Okay. We have X, M, T, C, another T. I have an E, I have a V, F, I, L, Y, another L, and an A. So there you go guys, those are letters, you can make up a word or whatever kind of resonates with you. Going to add up all these letter numbers that are next to the letters as you can see here. They have like a number next to the letter. So I'm going to add those up now, and that could be a prominent number for you guys. Could be a sign as well if you see this number repeating. So we have, whoa, sorry guys. Right, we have eight plus three plus one plus one plus three plus one plus four, four, one, one. Four, one, one. 33. Okay, so we had a lot of ones and we had a lot of fours and a lot of threes. So keep that in mind, guys. Also, we have 33. So it could be the number three, repeating number three, could be very prominent for you. And also the number six. Yeah? Cool. 
there you go guys thank you so much for watching if it resonates please give it a big old thumbs up comment down below also if you like to subscribe i'd really appreciate that and also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys